Hey, yo, 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 what's up, what's up? Holla at your boy, Fragrance Family, and welcome back to the Pastor Smell Good YouTube channel, where the sin is always lovely and the siage is absolutely divine. I greet you guys in the name of peace, prosperity, and oh yes, perfumery. I pray that on this day, your day is going absolutely marvelous, whether you're working or whether you're just simply taking your leisure. However this video finds you, I pray that it finds you in perfect peace. So let's go ahead and get started with today's content, fellas and ladies. I want to talk about a very uh, fun topic today. It's something I was thinking about driving home just the other day. And I want to talk about scents that smell like success. When you are out here on your stuff and you standing on business, what type of fragrances should you put on to just put the cherry on the top of the fact that you are indeed successful. What are the successful scents of those men and women uh, in Hollywood or in industry or in your local community? What type of fragrances do they put on? Do they smell like the success that everybody knows they have? And that's what I wanna deal with on today because let's be real, I think there's more to it than the conventional wisdom of dress for success I, yeah yeah that that's cool but i think you ought to also smell like success do you agree with me on that one we should dress for it you know the shoes we put on the clothes we put on all of that good stuff but i think when we pass by people when we are in people's presence we should smell like success and i got six fragrances today that i want to talk about um and I would like for you to talk about it with me in the comment section as well. Let me know what scents you put on when you want to smell like success, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the fragrances. Now, the first one I'm gonna talk about, this particular fragrance is one that I no longer own because I sprayed all of the juice out of it. But that one is Bond Number no. Nine's New York Oud. Yes, that is a scent for success. So guys, if you are ever on my channel scrolling some of my old videos, I need you to go ahead and check that one out because it's absolutely phenomenal in my humble opinion, all right? Where well, you can get more in-depth um, content on how I feel about the fragrance. But the reason I wanna wear that one when I'm dressing for success is because of the rose in there. Uh, it's because of the carnation that's in there. It's that honey vetiver woody dry down. I mean, you get this beautiful plum and saffron thing going on in that scent. And let me tell you something. When I'm standing on business, when I'm dressed to the nines, when I got on one of my best cuts and I'm walking on some of my favorite exotic shoes, huh, Bond Number no. 9's New York Oud, it does it for me. And what I love about that scent, dressing for success, I could do it all year long. So Bond number nine, I know you guys are probably never gonna hear about such a small fragrance reviewer such as myself in my opinions. But listen, since you're bringing stuff back, go ahead and bring back New York Oud. Now don't neuter it, don't water it down, don't mess it up. Bring it back like what we got used to, okay? Because I see you guys have brought back New Harlem and I thought we'd never see that one again. So that lets me know there's some hope for New York Oud. So bond number nine, if you ever hear of Pastor Smell Good, please bring us back New York Oud so that we can continue smelling like success. All right, so that's number six. Let me talk about number five real quick, all right? And for number five, I take a trip to the house of Creed, okay? Now let me go ahead and switch caps because I think things just look better when you got a full presentation, all right? The house of Creed, Royal Oud. Now let me tell you why I wanna put on Royal Oud. I wanna put on Royal Oud because this is some hyper-masculine stuff. You know, a lot of things that I own, a lot of things that I've experienced, men and women can really adorn a lot of those scents, okay? Uh, they bend the genders. But this is hyper-masculine, like this is uber-masculine to me. Uh, and the reason why is because it is such a woody fragrance. It's gonna open up with this bright bergamot, pink pepper thing going to be a little bit of spice and zestiness on the opening of the scent but let me tell you guys what this pretty much dries down to it dries down to the signature creed musk that we get in most of their fragrances especially in the dry down but it consists of cedar uh sandalwood and agarwood so this is a very woody scent and it is extremely masculine i love stuff like this 
Um, if you are not for the masculine woods type of things, you might want to stay away from this. But every time I put this in on, I am complimented. And the good thing about it is hours later. So that lets me know the projection piece is still doing its part. So if you want to smell like success, you want to put on Creed's Royal Oud. Uh, these are the types of things that I could see United States senators wearing. Uh, these are things that I can um, see your governor wearing um, to his inaugural ball and things like that. This is the real deal here. This is very uh, exquisite. This is very regal and refined to me. And it just smells like success. Now, let me tell you something. If you're a high school student and you're in college, you haven't put on um, any type of weight in the real world, let me tell you guys, stay away from this. This is not for children. This is for people that have been through something. These are. This is for people who pull themselves up by their own bootstraps. This is for people that have scars to prove that life tried to turn them every way but loose, but they're survivors. And they're successful because of it. So these are the type of people that I want putting on Creed Royal Oud. This is not anything to play with. And I love how they called it Royal Oud. They could have called it anything else Oud. But I'm going to tell you, Royal, yes, because it smells like success. And we know royalty is never unsuccessful. All right. So ooh, woo, I'm down for the cause with that stuff. All right. Now, let's take a trip to the house of Chanel, because this one kind of does what uh, New York Oud does for me. But I'm going to drop it down to the designer level because I think this is worthy of the accolades. OK, bada bing, bada boom. Another floral piece here from the house of Chanel. But this one is a little bit different because this is giving you a cinnamon sandalwood type of rose. That's just really intoxicating. Um, like this stuff just keeps bringing me back. Like, y'all, I walk around the house just smelling this atomizer just like this. I may be sitting down watching Netflix, reading a couple scriptures or something. And at the same time, I'm just smelling how gorgeous this stuff is. I love a good creamy sandalwood. So that's what endears me to the scent. But I'm also a big fan of that rose. And I get that here. The rose is very aromatic. It's, it, it, it's, it's, it's very luscious to me. So that's why I think this smells like success. Fellas, I can see you right now wearing your exotic shoes or just um, dressed up in a suit, okay? Or even uh, semi-casual. But if you're a successful man, this is what you want to go to the business meeting with, okay? Now, this is what I want to know. How many business people do I have on my page? How many business people do I have on my page or on my video? That's something to think about. Listen, when you're going into that boardroom, or when you're uh, going to go get a loan or something like that, uh, whenever you're going to close a client, uh, whenever you're going to sell your products, um, whenever you're looking for new clientele, however you do that, this stuff is for business people. Pretty much every cent on here is for business people. But guys, there's just something about this rose cinnamon sandalwood thing that is absolutely gorgeous with um, Chanel's Ego East. Now, some of my refined business folk uh, who like the more green metallic thing, you're going to go with Platinum Ego East. And yes, that is a business sent to me. OK, so if you're going to do the Platinum Ego East, smell good can rock with that. But I like more sweeter, creamier scents and, you know, more bold and daring. So this is the one I'm going to go with. But if you're going to go with Platinum Ego East, listen, I've owned a bottle of that, too. Smell good ain't looking at you upside your head. That stuff can work too. See, y'all, I, yo, I, I just cannot stop doing this. And I got to go teach Bible study tonight. So I don't know which one of these I'm going to put on tonight. But it's probably one of these five that uh, I'm reviewing here on the table. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so let's take another trip back to the House of Creed. Now, if you guys know me, you know where I was going with this. Green Irish Tweed smells like success. And... This is how I know it smells like success, because most of the time as men, we measure our success out here in the real world uh, by what we can provide. OK, I mean, that's just a common thread for people uh, across humanity, humanity. Uh, most men will measure their success by what they can provide for their families and take care of them. And 
I'm gonna be real, y'all. This is a green scent, lemon verbena, iris, and just extremely green. And um, this just smells like success to me. In so much, y'all, that George Clooney wears this scent. Okay, now we know who George Clooney is, right? He's like the heartthrob of multiple women. And uh, George Clooney, who has had his success in his own right as an actor, um, I know at one point his signature scent was Creed's Green Irish Tweed. So that's that thing for success. And once again, just like the Chanel Ego East um, and just like the Creed Royal Oud so far, this dries down to a beautiful luxury uh, sandalwood. And I really think this smells like success. Okay, so whenever I want people to take me seriously and don't take me to play with, I could spray this and I won't miss a beat. All right, so for number uh, five, four, three, for number two, okay, let me get down to the second scent when I want to smell like success. When I want to smell like success, I'm going to also put on Tom Ford's Tuscan leather. Yes, Tuscan leather right here. All right, Tom, ooh. Oh my goodness. Look, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys something. If you're not a leather person, steer clear of it, okay? This scent is not gonna make you like leather. But if you already love leather, this raspberry deal that's going on with this scent, this is just gonna really um, put you over the top with leather, okay? Leather is a very masculine note to me. Uh, leather is a very mature note to me. And people who are successful, they have a certain amount of maturity moving out here in the real world. You know, they've seen a lot, they've done a lot, they've had some failures, and they've learned from those failures, and those failures have turned into success. Kind of like I say at my church all the time, your negatives can come together and create positives. And if that's the story of your life, then let me tell you something, fellas. You need to get your nose on Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. This smells like a brand new car with this raspberry air freshener. Boom, that's it, that's it. I've been looking for the perfect um, descriptor of Tom Ford's Tuscan leather and that's it right there. Um, it's a brand new car with leather seats and I'm not talking about that new stuff they're putting in cars. It looks like leather, it feels like leather, but it is not leather. I'm talking like in the 90s, like when they were really putting leather in those luxury cars. Uh, go back to that. I'm talking brand new. Nobody has owned it. It's still on the lot or on the showroom floor. It's a brand new car with leather seats and hardly any to no miles on it. And somebody just busted open some raspberry car fresheners. Boom, that's success. Mm. Ooh, I don't know which one I'm wearing a Bible study tonight, but I'm telling you, it's gonna be one of these five. Remember, I can't put on New York Oud. I beat that down. I don't even own it anymore. So, bond number nine, bring that one back. But out of these five tonight, I I'm telling you, one of these I'm gonna wear the Bible study. Ooh, new car with raspberry car fresheners. <laughs> All right, fellas, are you all excited as I am about this particular video? Now, let's get down to number six. Now, we're doing a drum roll to number six, but this is the truth, guys. I really didn't even try to do these in number order. I don't rank uh, anyone above the other in this particular video, okay? These are all scents that will do the do when it comes to smelling like success. But the first one I want to get down to in the countdown, okay, this is number one, is I want to go to Amouage Memoir Man. Listen, guys. Ooh, I have listened to a lot of content on Amouage products. And much to my horror and chagrin, this has got to be one of the most slept on from the house of Amouage. All we hear about is Interlude Man. All we hear about is Beach Hut Man. All we hear about is Reflection Man. But let me tell y'all something. Memoir Man is the real deal, holy feel. Guys, my classmate, my homeboy Kenny put me on this. He gave me a sweet deal on it. And I went ahead and took him up. And I know he's watching the video right now. Okay, I had to turn that cap around because I, you know, I gotta get y'all to see that little thing going on here at the top. But see my classmate, Kenny, he blessed me with this one. 
Oh, he really did. He blessed me with this one, guys. This scent is so rich. On the Amouage website, it says Memoir Man is a philosophical and alluring scent. And I love that word choice, okay? Because when you deal with something that's philosophical, you're dealing with something that's deep. You're dealing with something that's thought out. You're dealing with something that's complex. And this is indeed a complex scent. I think I told you guys in my review of this fragrance, this is not mainstream. This stuff is bold. This stuff is daring. This stuff is risking it all. And let me tell you, if you want to smell like success, put on Memoir Man. I remember in the cold season, I was at my children's school because my church actually partners with their school. So we're always on the campus doing things. And one day I went over there to greet them in the morning, okay? I went over there to greet them um, in the drive up portion of the school where the children who get driven by their parents, they pull up on the ramp and we open the door and get them out of the car. I had so many cars pull up to where I was and people on the other side of the vehicle at the steering wheel were complimenting me on how gorgeous I was smelling. Some of the compliments that I was getting from people, I almost had to uh, tell them to keep on going so that we can get the other cars through the parking lot because that's how much they were just telling me how much they love this scent. But what are you getting here? You're gonna get this uh, wormwood, you're gonna get some leather, okay? Once again, masculine note. You're gonna get some leather and you're gonna get some basil with that Amouage signature incense thing, okay? And I think there's even a little bit of tobacco in here. Oh no, I don't think there is tobacco in here. Oh yeah, most definitely. And you put all that together and it's encased by this thick, noticeable, beautiful, lavender absolute. Oh my goodness. You talk about some good stuff here. And it dries down to this beautiful, woody vanilla and I really like it there's some sweetness on this scent there's some body there's some density and dimension on here that I really really like um this is for the alpha male okay this is for the man that's sure about himself this is about the man who is not ashamed of his success uh this is the man who does not apologize for being successful because they even put this stuff on you almost have to be like look I like it I don't care who doesn't like it, okay? I know I'm successful. I know I've gotten out here and made something of myself. So not only am I gonna dress for it, I'm gonna smell like success. And this scent does it here. I'm telling y'all, this is the truth. I don't, know which, I don't know which direction I'm gonna go tonight, but I'm telling you, one of these five, I'm putting it on tonight when I go to the church and teach Breakthrough Bible Study. But this is just some phenomenal stuff here, guys. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to talk back to me in the comment section. Tell me which one of these scents uh, that you might wear when you want to uh, smell like success. And if your scents are not my scents, share some of the knowledge with your big bro. Write it in the comment section and let me know what scents you go to when you want to smell like success. If you disagree that any of my scents are for men who are successful go ahead and tell me why you disagree keep it cool keep it classy i don't mind folk disagreeing with me long as it's principle long as it's well thought out and like i'm a wire says long as it's philosophical <laughs> all right i love you guys come back talk to me later on the channel i got more content coming your way till next time take care of yourselves and each other ah